you? Welcome to New York. Doing well. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Thank so you. how's camp been for you? It's been good. Um, let's see, we're about a week in now, and um, felt like I've learned a lot and seen seen a lot of different things, you know, figuring it out, good days and bad days, but overall it's been it's been good. So I'm trying to get in the routine, trying to, trying to get the hang of it. What you expected? Yeah, I'd say it's about what I expected. I mean, it's uh, you know similar to OTAs and similar to mini camp in terms of in terms of the practices and just kind of the preparation for the practice. It's just just longer days and just just uh, more meetings, stuff like that. But it's uh, it's good. Now the Giants publicly said there's no competition. It's Eli's job. Uh, but still, you're the backup quarterback, and eventually you're going to become the starting quarterback of this team. So how is the relationship with Eli where you're trying to learn from him, but probably in the back of your mind you're thinking, you know, I'm also trying to replace this guy? It's been great uh, so far. I think, um, you know, with Eli, with, with Alex, with Kyle, you know, all the guys in that room, I think we've... Um, you know, we, we've done a great job helping each other and kind of, you know, me learning from them, um, you know, more than anything else, but kept just kind of working together and, and making sure we're, as a unit, moving toward, uh, you know, toward where we need to go as a team and, and, you know, doing our job as quarterbacks. But, you know, with Eli in particular, our, our relationship has been great. I think he's... Um, you know, he, he's a, he's an awesome guy. He's he's helped me a whole lot with with anything that's come up, and and um, it's been uh, it's been great so far. When was the first time? How old were you the first time you met Eli? First time I met, uh, probably my sophomore year at Duke. And did, um, you, did you get to throw with him then, or what, what was the situation? Yeah, that was. Uh, I didn't get to throw, but I watched those guys work out. They came down to Duke. Um, to see Coach Cut and to to work out to meet. They kind of have like a little mini camp down there. Um, so I get to watch that, sit in, sit in on some meetings, and uh, just be around him there. So you're you're a very prototypical quarterback, body type, six foot five. Everyone says you do all the fundamental things right. This has obviously been a plan of yours for a, a good amount of time. What, what what's the biggest challenge you face? And this could be high school, applying to schools, whatever it was. Was there ever a time when you thought, I don't know if this dream of of being an NFL quarterback is going to happen? Yeah, I mean, I think. Um, Early on in high school, I was a kid who, who grew really late. So, my first year playing uh, varsity football, I was I was 135 pounds. You know, I was undersized and, and just kind of matured late. And did you um, did you start or no? I started. Yeah, I started. I got got banged around a little bit. Couldn't throw it, but 40 yards and you know dealing with some of that. But I think I learned a lot through that. And then um, after my junior year, it wasn't getting recruited very heavily. Um, I'd grown some, but. I uh, was kind of going in that senior year. That was going to be a big year for me, and I, I ended up breaking my wrist in basketball season. Didn't realize that till May, so that knocked me out a lot of camps, a lot of opportunities to be recruited. So um, committed to Princeton. It was the best best uh, opportunity I had, and through the through that season, Duke offered me an opportunity to walk on with you know potential to earn a scholarship, uh, you know later on. So so I took that and and a scholarship actually opened up, but I'd say kind of through that, you know, it was up and down and wasn't yeah, there, that's, sure that's not a totally sure. That's not yeah. that's not the same as, you know, going to be the starting quarterback at Michigan. You know, that yeah. is still a, a different path that must have presented some challenges. Yeah. Yeah, no I, I mean, I remember watching all the, you know, the recruiting rankings, checking all the stars and, you know, watching those guys be caught up in that a little bit, but it worked out and I'm I'm here now. I couldn't be uh couldn't be more thankful. Well, you're a quarterback, so that means everybody's going to have a say, especially when you get picked sixth overall. So how was it to handle all the criticism that you get all the time, people picking you apart? Because that's, you're kind of just like a, a, a piece of meat when you get drafted, right? <laughs> Everybody trying to find out what's wrong with Daniel Jones, why he shouldn't be the sixth overall pick. How did you handle that? Um, I mean, for one, I, I you know, I realized that, uh, you know, I was the sixth pick, and, and to the New York Giants, you know, I wasn't going to feel sorry for myself in that situation. You know, I mean, I think that's a very fortunate situation. People are going to have opinions, but that's their, that's their job. And, um, you know, with the media, whoever, you know, fans, you know, people are going to have opinions. But, um, you know, it, I haven't played yet. It's my job to, you know, prove prove the Giants right. It's my job to, to play well, and, I, you know, I'm confident I can do that. And, and I, you know realize there's a lot of work ahead but but i realize i'm in control of that now you're a really nice kid but are, are you thinking about how you want to stick it to all those people who said <laughs> you shouldn't have been the sixth pick uh gonna be a motivating yeah. factor for you i mean may, maybe uh maybe I, you know i think some of that is there but but i don't think that's uh 
you know, the first mo I mean, first motivation for me. I think there's a lot of things things before that, but we'll see. Do you hear when people, one of the main things people say about you is that you're like Eli. Like that it, it has become, at least for me and Don, when we talk to people about what's going on with the Giants, what do you think of Daniel Jones, you hear from people, a lot of Eli in him. And, and what I noticed it the most was when we did our, you probably don't remember it because you were in a haze, but we talked to you the day after you got drafted. We did, you did a phone with us. And we hung up the phone, and I was just like, that kid's Eli Manning. You know, like from the way that you talk, the, the, how much you, you reveal and how much you kind of keep close to the vest and just your general demeanor. Um, is that something, did you emulate in that him or is it literally just a coincidence that you guys kind of have similar personalities? Um, well, I mean, I think it could, it could come from, from who we were trained by with, with Coach Cut and that. And, and, you know, as a, as a um, kid, he was certainly one of the guys I looked up to a lot. Um, you know, him and Peyton and watching those guys play, watching how they handle themselves. But in terms of like a personality, I think that, that's, a, that's coincidence. A, co a coincidence, uh, largely. But um, yeah. Did you did you hate going to Duke? Did I hate going? Yes, because I hate Duke. Oh, Do you absolutely not. You no. enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. You sure you didn't Great make place. a mistake? Uh, positive. positive. You wouldn't have preferred to go to Maryland. No, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> um, what was your favorite thing about being besides uh, besides football? Where you, did you get into the basketball team? Did you do the whole Duke experience? I mean, what what was it like for you? I did. I, I got into the basketball, uh, you know, being a Duke basketball fan and, you know, went to some of those games. It was a lot of fun. You didn't ever paint your face, though, did you? I never painted my face. Hey. Never. Uh, <laughs> I didn't tent either or d do any of that, but, but I went to some games. Those are fun. And, yeah, you better not have um, to wait in a tent. You're the quarterback of the football team, for God's sake. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a lot of people that can't get into get, yeah, get tough, in those right? games. Those, those are tough games, but Duke was, Duke was an awesome place for me, you know, growing up in Charlotte, um, just two hours from Duke and being in the area, Duke's a, Duke was an awesome player. Were you hoping Zion would end up with the Knicks? I, I kind of was, yeah, <laughs> uh, I was. But we got RJ. I mean, RJ, yeah. you know, yeah, it works definitely out. happy with that. So I look forward to watching him. I'm talking to Daniel Jones here on the Michael K Show. I mean, it's, it's hard to say. You haven't even played your first preseason game yet. But when, when do you think you'll know you'll be ready? I mean, some people think that, that you should play this year. You're the sixth overall pick. Most picks that I play in their first year. When do you think you'll know that you're ready? Um... I, I mean, I think uh, I think just the more more and more reps you get, I think you could, you feel more and more confident, and and you know seeing you know I'm still seeing things a lot a lot of things for, for the first time, seeing defensive looks, seeing uh, different pressures, and and you know how they look against what we're running. I mean, I think I think just getting more and more reps. I don't know if there'll be a you know a moment when I say I'm ready, but I think just just the more and more reps I get, the more confident I'll be. I don't know how much you've talked to Eli about his rookie season, but it was disastrous early on you know a 0, 0.0 quarterback rating against the Ravens has he talked to you about that about and trying to teach you what he went through in his rookie year uh maybe not maybe not specifically um you know we talked about it a little bit but uh, but I mean I think you know our conversations now and, and you know what I'm learning now is more kind of specific to what we're doing here and and you know practice getting ready for practice and um, you know, I, I mean, maybe we'll have that conversation, but yeah. I think, I think our, you know, our, our conversation, what I'm learning now is more, uh, you know, for more focused on what we're doing here. I was just looking at his hands, seeing how big <laughs> your hands are. How big are your hands? Uh, I don't, I can't remember. What oh, that's measured a solid at. full, huh? that's a solid full, whatever the, what are these called? Yeah. No, no, now compared to, a, a, to, to an actual grown man. man. <laughs> grown Hold man. on. It's it's so big, step, <laughs> he's so significant. He's got you. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh. how much, did, when you grew, you talked about growing during high school, mm -hmm. um, you obviously grew in height, but was the, was your hands growing a big part of it? Cause that was always the part that I, the second I was a kid, I could always throw the ball pretty well as a little kid. And then when I started using the bigger football and your hands aren't that big, it's challenging. Right. No, that, that is, I always had bigger hands and then when I was small even when I was a freshman sophomore I'd size 15 feet so I, I thought I was gonna grow at some point and <laughs> that's so and promising I, and I did and right, right. I, which which was which worked out but yeah I kind of always had big hands you rarely see the the, the, the the random guy walking on his five foot seven with the freakishly large <laughs> you know size 15 it would just be odd it, just, yeah. it, it rarely <laughs> happens it would, it would certainly wouldn't work out for sure I guess well, well remember Pedro Martinez had the freakishly long fingers that's why he was able to get the snap on the ball and he wasn't a big guy at all right right so but it is kind of rare have you got to experience New York at all I've been in a few times um, great food I've been to a few few different restaurants and um, 
Yeah, I got got to go around a little bit, but I wouldn't say I know it great yet. Still trying to still trying to figure it out. I'd like to go back. How weird was it when you looked over at me and I just said, I'm looking at your hands? I feel like <laughs> I didn't know where you were going. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty strange in <laughs> retrospect that happened. You work with Peter. You never know what you, road you're going to go I know, down. I know. So. You know, listen, I covered Duke Hate. Awkward question about the size of his hands. We talked about Eli Manning. I'm, I'm excited for you to be here, man. I think it's an yeah. exciting story. Listen, I... It was very, it, it had a lot of impact on my football fandom. I'm a Redskins fan. I was very curious about where you would end up. Have you gotten to build it? Do you have any relationship with Dwayne Haskins? You guys uh, will kind of always be paired now yeah, in, in a true. certain way. Right. Um, kind of got to know him through the, through the draft process a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I, I know him great, but... Uh, yeah, I look forward to look forward to watching him. Do you think about that? Because that he is someone who I think people will probably measure his success and yours. I think there's obviously a, a higher likelihood that he'll end up playing sooner than you will. At least I, I hope, because I, I feel I know the ceiling for Case Keenum. But <laughs> um, people will compare you guys. That's something that ever crossed your mind or no? Uh, not really. Um, you know, I think um, you know being in the same division. I think it's a it's a. It's a tradition, traditional rivalry that goes back way before, before us, um, and and I think that's a much bigger part of, part of the game. That's certainly what I think. But. Uh, are there any quarterbacks that you watch that, that blow your mind still? That like you're like, you, you can't even believe you're in the same league as these guys because they're insane. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I mean, I've always liked, I've always liked watching, uh, watching the the guys growing up, but. Um, you know, I think you know Rodgers and Brady, all those guys, and and watching Eli in practice is, is that way sometimes, and how he can get through his reads, how he knows exactly where he's going, um, how he's seen you know things so many times. He's he's just you know, so quick with with how he thinks. It's it's impressive. Is it, right. is Mahomes too close to you in age to be like <laughs> that dude's a freak? Because he <laughs> he does he's pretty insane. Yeah, yeah. He, he's uh, thing to do favorite non football thing to do. Uh, probably play golf, uh, especially when when the weather's nice. Um, not a great golfer yet. Still working on it. Um, Do but, you have a handicap yet or no? You don't, I don't. I don't have a you handicap. Don't even, yeah, yeah. You don't even bother when you're if you're shooting a hundred. Right. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna, yeah. Once it's respectful, I'll start telling <laughs> right. people a handicap. Yeah, I can't yeah. tell people. Hey, did you play? Yeah, my handicap's forty. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm about a 108. So, <laughs> well, since you're such an Eli clone, do you love Seinfeld like he does? I don't. I, oh, there you I go. Mean, I don't. I don't. I don't even know Seinfeld. You never watched really? Seinfeld at all. No. What, no. Sh what shows do you watch? Don't say Game of that. Thrones. Obviously, <laughs> everyone watch games. Of watch the Game of Thrones. Were you um, satisfied with the ending, or were you angry? I, I wasn't angry. I, I mean, I think. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't angry. I mean, I think. You kind of knew, you know, we, we either John or Daenerys were gonna die, and and you know, but the way it happened, and it's still kind of like, still kind of. Exciting to see. No, I was good yeah, with it. I, I, it good. I don't believe we have to be embarrassed, those of us who are satisfied yeah, with the ending of Game of Thrones. I thought, it was, I thought it was totally good with it. Yeah, I'm with you there. What about music? Music. Um, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, Kings of Leon, The Revivalist, kind of Southern Rock, maybe, whatever you want to call that. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So, southern Pop Rock, Southern Rock. Because yeah. that's great about New York. They all come through here. Every act comes through here, either at the Garden or Barclays or... So you're you're gonna get a chance to see a lot of great music while you're yeah. here, because I think fans expect you to be here for like a decade and a half. Yeah, it's a very so. good point. <laughs> <laughs> People are assuming you're gonna be here for a while. So get, get used to it. Yeah. Good luck, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank right. you, man. Yeah, appreciate it. That's you. Daniel Jones.